Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox the Grand Vila X6 BT wireless Bluetooth headset, take a close-up look and pair it with my smartphone. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this wireless Bluetooth headset comes in a variety of colors. This one is gray. So let's go ahead and open up the box. Let's go ahead and remove the case from the box. And let's go ahead and unzip it. And let's go ahead and remove the headset from the case. And let's see what else is in here. So there is a double-ended 3.5mm audio cable. So this has, headset has 3.5mm audio socket for wired connectivity to conserve any battery or even if the headset is completely out of energy from the rechargeable battery you can still listen to music using a 3.5mm cable such as this one here connected to your music player or legacy player where there's no wireless connectivity. And there's also a USB, micro USB charging cable here. So let's put that down, put that aside. So there's an A4 folded sheet here with some instructions. So it is a user manual, including a package content list. Okay, let's put that aside and put the case aside. Slide the headset over along with the included accessories. And then let's take a close up look at the headset. So it's a headset because it is a headphone with a built-in microphone or integrated microphone so you can actually use it for smartphone calls which is really handy. So you can see the nice aluminium, brushed aluminium detail with the Grand Vila branding there. And it's got a nice shiny plastic or metal. It's hard to tell, but it is nice and shiny. And it's actually quite cold to the touch, so it could be metal.
and you can see there are a or there is a rocker or two buttons there plus and minus and there is a power button down here as well and on the other side if we can get it to focus there we go beautiful you can see there is a 3.5 millimeter line in audio socket there and there's a microphone hole there for your phone calls and on this side there is a micro USB port for charging up the headset so it's nicely hidden on the underside there so it's very discreet with a nice sleek finish and let's see and take a close up look at the Headband here. So it's nice and soft and it's well padded. And let's see if we can extend this. Okay, there does not appear to be any level of extension there so the extension is instead at this part of the headset or frame So it can be set in intermediate positions right there. So let's go ahead and extend both sides fully. I'm just having a feel just to check what kind of material it is, whether it is a coated plastic material or whether it's actually metal itself let me just grab a coin on the side and tap it lightly and you can hear it is metallic sounding so it is metal so that's your clarification clarification for you Okay, so that's the headset at the maximum extension. And you can see there is labeling on the inside to indicate left and right sides. If I can get to focus again. So R for right, obviously, and L for left. And we would wear it this way with our head facing forwards. So this is what it looks like with the headset on, with maximum extension of the headband. And let's go ahead and close it back down. So you can see the difference right there. So this is fully retracted. And let's go ahead and try and stretch it a little, see how durable it is. And you can see no creaks or anything. Nice and smooth and solid, really sturdy headband right there. 
not a single creak at all. Sometimes you might hear creaking or snapping or clicking. None of that. And you can see right here, the ear cups can be tilted or twisted. So they do swivel to give you that maximum comfort once again. I'm wearing them, so let me just show you. Very unusual, but very cool, knowing that there's a good range of motion right there. And I can show you the ear cups in detail this way as well. And they are quite heavily padded ear cups. Okay, so now let's try and turn it on. So let's go ahead and press the power button right there. If I can get it to focus once again. And you can see between the plus and minus button there for audio control or maybe even playback as well. You can see that the LED light is flashing in that strip there. So let's go ahead. It looks like it's ready to pair as well, which is pretty cool. So I've got my trusty old Sony Xperia Z3 Compact Android smartphone. Let's go ahead and enable Bluetooth right there. So I've just turned it on. And instantly you can see the X6BT appear on the device list right there. So I've just tapped on it to pair it. And there we go, it's showing it's connected. So now let's go ahead and bring up the YouTube app and try and play something. So let's pick one of the latest videos and hopefully there's no issue here. And instantly you can hear that sound come through on the headset. Let's go ahead and raise it. So very good response there and nice and strong volume. So let me try pressing on the volume button or plus button on the headset and you can see the volume control on the smartphone appear there. So that's the Grand Vila X6BT wireless Bluetooth headset. Thanks for watching and happy listening.